history with very few clues until now. It stretches from a small Mennonite community in New Mexico to a popular tourist spot in northern Arizona and the eventual arrest of an accused killer, an airman from Luke Air Force Base. Team 12's William Pitts is uncovering new information in the investigation in a story you'll only see from the night team. Will? Guys, there was some sort of bad blood between that murder suspect, Mark Gooch, his two brothers, and the Mennonite community they once had ties to. And according to these police documents, they took that grudge to a whole new level. 27-year-old Sasha Kraus was found dumped behind a bush near Sunset Crater. And that's how he found her, or? We yeah, didn't move her, nothing. She was face down, we'll shot to death, and... with a hood okay. placed over her head, an ankle-length dress, anymore. hair in a bun, the clothing of a Mennonite woman, which she was. There's almost some drag marks over there. Yeah. yeah. Kraus across. had been missing from Farmington, New Mexico, for a month. Police video shows a horrified woman who found Kraus's body while collecting firewood. I'm going to go down to Sedona after okay. this and see my friend. Okay. Because I don't want to be alone. Investigators traced Krause's location through her cell phone, looking for connections. The only other phone to be in the same area as Krause belonged to 21-year-old Mark Gooch, an airman stationed at Luke Air Force Base. When they pulled his phone records, detectives found text messages about surveilling the Mennonite community, calling them a bunch of old people without much to live for, and a text message from Gooch's sister, Happy Birthday Mark. When they traced where Gooch's phone had been, they found it heading from Phoenix to Farmington, then his signal stopped at Sunset Crater for three hours. When detectives interviewed Mark Gooch, he would only tell them that he and his brothers used to be members of the Mennonite faith. He wouldn't say why they left. But in text messages, he and his brother joked about pulling over Mennonites, coughing on them to give them corona and calling them cultists. When confronted, police reports show Mark Gooch said, it sounds like I need a lawyer. From there, the investigation went fast. A man near Luke Air Force Base called police, telling them Gooch had asked him to store a 22 caliber rifle. Gooch's other brother, Sam, would only tell police that Gooch held a grudge toward the Mennonite community. As for a true motive, Sam said he didn't know. Only Mark knew. Gooch's brother, Sam Gooch, was later arrested. Police reports say he tried to get the man who was storing that rifle to destroy it. Instead, police set up a sting, and he allegedly admitted he knew Mark Gooch had murdered someone. William Pitts, 12 News.